Hey guys, Chris Taranti here. I'm gonna be taking you on a little adventure today. Right now I'm gonna be going through what you need to survive out in the wilderness. First thing, most important, box of granola bars. You need to stay healthy, you need to stay energized, all that. Second most important thing is a bandana. You just need a bandana. Also, I like to take multiple pairs of sunglasses, all right? That's also important, protect your eyes from the sun. Also, you need a way to defend yourself. My favorite, classic slingshot, like that. Last few things, you need some cut off t-shirts. I've cut off the sleeves of these, like so. Also, you need a lighter. You need to start fires. You need to survive the night. Also, this is this is just a me thing. You don't have to do it. Tuck your jeans into your boots. That's very important for me at least. Hey guys, we're here today at what many people refer to as the most beautiful place on earth. We're at Ann Hill, Situa, Massachusetts. So, first thing you can go over, precautions when you're out here in the woods for multiple days at a time. Everyone around here knows that it's uh, it's bear season. Gonna wanna watch out for bears. Also coyotes, those things will get you. So, let's begin our adventure. Look around, there's the ocean, some benches, all that. Hey, here's some kids down there. Look, they're right there. Hey, kids. All right, we're gonna walk this direction. I don't want these kids attacking me. Oh God, we're coming closer. Okay, we're good. They didn't see me. Whew. We begin day one. Okay, pretty spooky. I don't know how long I'm going to be out here. Could be a day. Could be a week. Could be a few years. We never know with these walks. That's another thing. If you don't plan well, you could be stuck out in the wilderness for years at a time. So watch out for that. Alright guys, we see here. We've come to a fork in the road. Wanna well, know what we say here? E-block AP Lang. We say screw that, screw that. We're going right through here. Right into the brush. Yeah. Right into the thick of it. Look at that. Nature's beautiful. Hey. We're creating our own trails. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Huh. Those look like thorns, that's not that nice. Uh we're gonna continue anyway. Hey! <gasps> We're gonna make it. We're trailblazing. My shoe is stuck. Hey. Look at that. We made it. We made it all the way to the top. The reward is beautiful. We can see the windmill. Amazing. I've made friends with some of the wild animals out here. These dogs or wolves, these domesticated wolves are around me right now. I think they're guarding me. Shout out to you. 
There's one down here. I think I lost one. Look at him. There he is. Beautiful animals. Such divine, divine fur. Look at that. I think that brings a conclusion to day one, but wait. Look at this. We, we seem to have found a natty daddy. Right, right there. That's a no-no. It's not happening around here. Look up. Day two, I slept well. I was woken by some creatures in the night, but luckily I fought them off with a slingshot. That's why, that's why you need to come prepared, kids. Okay, day two, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go right off the trail. Right here, see the trail right there? We're gonna go right off it, right this way. Right through this thick brush. I don't know what's happening. We could find anything. Right through this. Still get a nice view. The sun and the marshes around here. I don't know where I will end up, but isn't that the beauty of it? Beauty of exploring. Oh, look at this. Look at this clearing. You won't be able to see it right now, but this clearing coming up here is just astounding. I'll give you a quick glance when I walk by it. It's a real nice looking tree, good for climbing. I'll probably sleep up there. I might come back here later tonight. Look at that. Look at that tree. Beautiful. Cleared. Awesome. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is just absolutely tantalizing. Oh boy. Look around here. More trees. Oh my. Look at all this. This is beautiful. I love exploring. Uh, day three. Night three did not go well. I got robbed. It took my clothes. So, it's really cold, it's like 40 degrees. Ah, God, this is just terrible. I have, I they stole my clothes. They left everything in my bag but my clothes. They didn't take my granola bars. They left me the sunglasses because I slept with them. But oh my God, day, day three is gonna be pretty rough. I think, I think I'm gonna go try and find my muggers. Maybe they'll give me back my clothes. I don't know. Wish me good luck, guys. Uh, I found my muggers. They gave me gave my clothes back after I said, like, hey, I need my clothes back. It's real chilly. And they were like, okay, guy, we're sorry. We didn't mean to hurt you like that. So that was nice. And they threw in these cool glasses. Day four starts. Let's begin our further exploration of these unmarked trails, which I... I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty, pretty freaking lost. Jeez. God, I'd, I have no idea where I am. Let's continue anyway. Maybe we'll find civilization on day four or three. I'm losing track. I ate all my granola bars in the first day. That was not good. Okay. Uh, it's a bit chilly. Today's like 30 degrees-ish. Uh, we out here still? Oh, by the way, guys, I have not given enough appreciation to this guy right here. The tree. This bad boy gives you oxygen to breathe. He's the reason you're alive. You better protect him. Please, thank you. We continue. Uh, huh. This is strange. I don't know where I am. But we continue. We venture on. My hair is maintained. It's been perfect, actually, for the past four days. There's Pretty nice. Good jeans, I guess. Okay. This is a bit spooky.
bear to bear. Ooh. What's that? I'm being chased. I'm being chased by a pack of coyotes or a pack of bears. I have not turned around to tell yet. I think I lost them, but I see a clearing and a bunch of natty items. That means we're reaching civilization again. Ultimately, I didn't think I was going to make it away, but I did. My speed got the best of them. We made it. We made it. Yes. Civilization. We survived day five. Continue. Day 12, I now know I'm being followed. I'm not sure by what, I've had sneaking suspicions since day one. Now I'm definitely being tracked by some sort of predatory animal or predatory human. I don't know which, but we must continue on adventuring because that is what life's all about. Seeing new things, getting your heart rate up. What is that? What is that? I think it's a wolf. A white and brown wolf. We continue. Hello. Hey, bud. Look at him. Hello. Ah, uh, not really. It's pretty cold out. Yeah. Hey, bud. Yo. You're cute. That was stressful. I didn't know if I was going to survive that one. <sighs> we continue. A little brush with death back there. That was real. That was as close as I've got to dying so far. 12 days. Wow. Nature still remains beautiful, doesn't it, guys? Look at that. I'm following this path right now. It seems pretty well marked. I don't know where it leads though. Could be anywhere. Could lead to the ocean. Could lead to a city. I don't know. That's this is mystery. That's what I love about this. This is just amazing. Walk around Ann Hill. Cold, scared, being tracked down. Brushes with death, that's what life's all about. We're gonna continue on this trail, it seems pretty long. This trail alone might take an entire day. All right, I think I'm gonna post up all these birch trees for the night. See you guys in the morning. Okay, it's been a few days on this trail. Just straight walking, nothing eventful, so I haven't recorded for you guys. Last night's sleep, pretty hectic. I was woken up multiple times by the roar of bears in the distance. I had to change spots a few times, scary stuff. But I think we're near the end of this trail right here, where it may lead. I'm not sure yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it might be the ocean or the marshes. And that's just a feeling I can't know for sure yet. A few birds nest up in here. Looks like it's probably a hawk. I think, not a hawk, 
Those are just sticks. Oh, I think I see the end of the trail. This is good news. Maybe there will be fresh water. I haven't had water in a while. That's yeah. We're right here. Look at that. Wouldn't you know? It is a marsh. It does end in a marsh. Let's see what's down here. Come face to face with another ruthless beast. Three of them. Oh God. What do I do? Do I continue? They seem to be guarding some sort of. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna hunker down here. I made it past. My dogs are friendly. I made friends with them. Pretty well domesticated wolves out here. <laughs> Led by a few hunters. Nothing to be that scared of. But would you look at this view out here? Look at that. All that marsh. Uh. The windmill again. The plane up there. Seems we have a campsite of sorts. Pretty terribly made campsite if I say so myself. Just a few chairs and a wooden bench. Which has a plaque on it. Carol's Perch. Shout out to Carol. We continue on this marshy path. The sun I have time. Lighthouse. Distance. Not a light. It's a windmill. Have I been calling it a lighthouse? That'd be bad. We continue. In these marshes, you definitely want to watch out for your crocodiles. They sneak up on you quick. Also, in here, cheetahs use their their spots to blend in with the the brush. If you see the tan yellow, really blends in. So they just sneak up on their prey, which could include me. Spooky stuff. There could be right. There could be one right there. I wouldn't even know. So you always got to be on your toes. We're getting in this more dense brush in here. A little off the path action. Let's switch arms. I don't like that. We're back. Okay. This looks like a good bed for the night. It's been nearly a month. I miss my family. They know I'm surviving though. I think it's gonna be time to find my way back. Way back into civilization, out of the wilderness. It's been fun. I liked it out here. It's gonna take me a while to get back though. Cause I have no idea how I got here. So I might need to trailblaze a bit more in the direction I believe to be north to get home safe. It's gonna be an adventure, guys. Look at that. Birch trees. Things are protected, they're endangered. Don't, don't you dare think about chopping one of them down. All right? Thanks. They help you breathe. And they're beautiful. Don't even think about it. I swear to God. I hear some noises up ahead. <laughs> Could be another pack of coyotes. More wild animals. We've reached the desert area. Looks populated. I don't know what's going on out here. They're playing sports. 
This is creepy. I'm gonna have to sneak my way through, I believe. I'll see you guys on the other side. Well, we made it. Now we're on our way home, I think. I think I'm headed in the right direction. Should be about another hour or so out until I'm home. Thank you guys for joining me on this. It's been real nice. I'll be back to you once I reach the end. Alright, we made it. We survived. Just under a month out here, Ant Hill. It's been nice. We lived. There's the park we're, gonna, we're gonna survive once, once my mom comes to pick me up, which she said it was about 10 minutes because she was in the shower. So, thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, guys. Nature's beautiful. If you get out there, if you get out there and experience life, feel it that from your couch. All right, thank you guys. Thank you tons. Love you guys. Shout out to E Block. Later.